the um, followers and uh, movie lovers, nature lovers, any fans of this channel. Um, I'm gonna have a new video today. Um, I'll be doing some updates for um, for collections I made um, for collections that I made a while ago um, collections um, and then now I'm going to do my updated Blue Buddy collection of Pixar movies since um, I've been getting um, so far in the update um, it's just going to be Blue Buddies so yeah um, actually Actually, I do have a good stack. Well, I'm trying to upgrade um, my DVDs of Pixar films on Blu-ray, so I'm, I may have some duplicates. But again, I'm trying to upgrade, and I'm uh, thinking of selling the DVDs I have on Blu-ray. So the first up. It's Coco. Um, uh, 2017 release. Um, I feel like um, so this was the second year that they had two Pixar films in like one year, and this is a great film. Um, yeah, we got disc artwork, Blu-ray, DVD, and we got a DVD bonus feature and feature film. Digital code. I feel like Pixar is like the only studio out there that actually do all work um, now. Um, great movie. Um, I think this is a little underrated since I don't hear much people talking about this that much now, but uh, it's a great film. I was expecting the culture and I highly recommend watching this if you haven't seen it yet, but I think most people have. So that's Coco. Now we've got Cars Free. Um, another 2017 release that uh, Coco made. It was more successful, but uh, Cars Free, this was the summer release. That summer, again, a good good movie. Um, I haven't seen this in a while, so maybe my thoughts have changed. But we got the digital copy Blu-ray feature film on this feature and the DVD. Uh, most of these are actually um, free packs. Free discs packs. Um, that's Cars Free. Good movie. Actually, second favorite in the franchise even though it's regarded as the worst franchise in Pixar's history and Incredibles 2 which um I did like then more I actually I actually did like it than most people give it credit for um I feel like 2018 was like the big year and many people gave this plays um, but I feel like now it's forgotten, and I haven't seen this in a while too, but, um, I did remember this being pretty good, um, not better than the original, but still as a follow-up, that fall was pretty good, again, another successful film, 
and Pixar history. Um, most of these blue lights came out in November, or like at least. I'll get the colds, which colds, that's back from the noise, but the colds had already been taken. Um, we got the DVD, Blu-ray feature film, we got the bonus feature, so. Uh, the stack disc things I'm not a big fan of, but you know, what, um, at least they have all work and at least they have bonus content and a Blu-ray disc. Um, so you know, uh, that's not that bad, um, but again, I would like it to be like, um, the discs that have little flappers, but anyway, with the disc holders, flappers, um, but anyway, Incredibles 2, a pretty good follow-up, and I think most people think this is a decent movie, um, so yeah, next up we got Monster University, um, I think this is one of the most underrated Pixar movies. Um, actually, think this is a quite good. Actually, let me just start over. Actually, I think this is a pretty good prequel. Um, I still need to get the first on Blu-ray. Um, but Monster University, the good film. I do have this on DVD, but um, I'll be getting rid of that because. I I upgraded it to Blu-ray, um, just because of the bonus content, but uh, so I would, this is a film I probably want to watch on Blu-ray, um, got your little booklet, um, we got your advertisement, got more these little goodies, we got feature film, Blu-ray bonus, and we got the DVD. So, if you're still a fan of DVDs, um, the Blu-ray got you covered. Because I feel like a free this set is a good deal. Um, so, Washington University. Pretty good film, but I feel like it's a little bit flawed, but um, good but flawed, a little bit. Next up is The Good Dinosaur. I haven't put this in yet, but I haven't seen this movie since, um, since actually a while ago. I think I rewatched this once, um, and... I know people have forgotten about this one, or may think it's boring, but I kind of appreciate it. I thought, again, this is a decent movie. Uh, this movie lost money, but um, again, I thought this was a decent good time. Um, but still flawed in aspects. That's your Blu-ray, your DVD, and your code. Now this is, um, this was the first time that, not the first time, but like, first time nearly <clears throat> to come on Blu-ray that did not have a second disc. Um, because it probably flopped. Um, no, actually it did flop did lose money so I don't think they wanted to give it the same treatment as the other films but again good dinosaur good movie I do enjoy this one quite a bit um looking forward to rewatching it so that's good dinosaur um again I haven't put this in but if you haven't seen it, I do recommend watching it. 
Next up is Toy Story 4. Um, another one that um, the dinosaur bombed at the box office. Um, so Toy Story 4, um, I feel like this is one of the most overrated Pixar films. I don't think this film is that bad. Um, not that bad, but I don't think this movie's bad. But again, it's lackluster compared to the first movie. Um, again, I think this is a decent movie, but I don't think it's that great. Um, but it's still worth keeping in the collection, I guess. Um, you got your DVD. You got your digital code, which already been used. You got your Blu-ray, Blu-ray feature film. You got your DVD. Um, so another Fleeta set, um, Toy Story 4. Decent movie, but it wasn't that great. Um, it's still worth um, keeping the collection. Um, next up is Inside Out. Um, this is a great film from 2015. Um, Toy Story 4 was a success 2019, and this was a success. A uh, pretty great movie. Um, sad ending. But, I mean, kind of sad ending, but. Um, but kind of satisfying, actually very satisfying. Um, I haven't seen this in a while, so I think this goes into my rewatch pile. Um, got your Blu-ray disc, bonus features disc, DVD disc. Uh, that's Inside Out. Um, pretty good movie. 2015. Um, I get this cover in. Uh, there you go. Um, next up is Incredibles, the first one. Um, I do have this on DVD. Um, I probably won't get rid of it unless I have the Blu ray from the United States because. Um, there's not like a lot of bonus features on here compared to the DVD, but um, I think this was a game though, but um, a classic of course, great movie, um, actually I think this is one of my favorite Pixar franchises, because I do enjoy both, but of course, I like this one better. Um, got your Blu-ray disc. That's Incredibles on Blu-ray. A great classic film. From great classic Pixar film. And we got another classic Toy Story. Um, started it all. Um, Again, I have this on DVD, but I did upgrade this to Blu-ray, and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, um, the animation is outdated, but I feel like the less from this film is still great and memorable. Got your digital code, which has already been used. Got your DVD, which is the 2010 version, and we got your Blu-ray, which is different. Or maybe it's the same. I don't. Know. But um, it's Toy Story. So that's Toy Story, great classic film, the one that started it all, 
got Onward next. Um, this is another one that I think is underrated. I don't think too many people seen this one yet, so. But um, this came out during the beginning of COVID era, COVID-19. And I, I don't think this movie had a good chance of being a success during that era. Um, but I hope that more people saw this at home. Um, this had a decent opening weekend. Um, especially, especially before all of this, all of the health problems in the world started coming. And onward is a great film. Now this movie lost money, but um, I'm not sure if it was assessed, but I do think this was a good movie. Um, so we got the book. Um, this was a Target exclusive. Um, And inside, yeah, 4K, um, which I haven't put in, but I'm pretty sure this is going to look great on 4K. Um, got the digital code, which has already been taken. I do have an unboxing of this film on my channel. You got your 4K disc, Blu-ray disc. And we got your bonus disc. So, um, I feel like they did a free disc for this one. Because they didn't know that this was going to lose money. Um, so that's Onward. Um, a pretty good movie. How this feel? is a little bit long but you know we have five more to go now we got Blave um this isn't my personal favorite I do respect it but it's not one that I like we watching um but Blave I did have the DVD I don't know where it is but I do have the blue right now and I'm happy about it. Um, I think this is generally a fine movie. Um, get your code. I do think this is Pixar's weakest film or one of their weakest. Get your feature film, bonus feature, DVD disc. Um, Again, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Blade, but I don't think it's bad. Um, I just think it's perfectly fine. Um, feature film, bonus feature, DVD. So that's Blade. A movie that it's watchable, but again, I don't think it's that great. Um... If I have like a movie marathon of Pixar, I'll definitely probably watch this, but other than that, will be not, other than that, it'll be not in my DVD player for much we watches, maybe some, um, but the Toy Story 2, um, I think I watched this like three, about six times. Um, but I watch other Pixar movies more. So um, we got Toy Story 2. Um, again, I thought this was a really good movie. But I don't think it was the best Toy Story. Um, I go to the first one, but. I still like this film. I still think it's good. I don't think it's amazing. Um, it does have some flaws. 
got your Blu-ray feature film, you got your DVD, which it's a um, it's a lead print of the 2010 DVD, which you call that's Toy Story 2. Again, a pretty good movie, but I don't think it's amazing like what other people have been saying. But still, um, worth keeping the collection. And this was an upgrade from my DVD. So we have Finding Dory, the next one up. Trying to find Finding Nemo on Blu-ray by now. Um, I do have the DVD, but but anyway, Finding Dory is again a very good movie. Um, I do enjoy this. I haven't seen this in a while, but I definitely remember liking this film. Um, it's your code. That's your other code, Blu-ray feature film, bonus feature, and your DVD. So that's Finding Dory. Again, a really good movie. And I do recommend watching this one. But again, it's not as great as the... It's not as good as the original, which... It's an animated clash... <laughs> It's an animated classic, but again, Finding Dory, pretty good movie. Um, we got two more to go. Um, yeah, Pixar short films collection. And again, I do think these shorts are not that bad. Um, I actually put in this disc once, and um, it was good quality. Um, but again. Not on the level of films, but for shorts, that's decent. We got your Blu-ray and your DVD. Um, I think this is a pretty rare Blu-ray. Actually, I, I haven't seen this much in stores. Uh, but again, a good selection of shorts. And the other two volumes are actually good too. Yeah, Toy Story Free, um, a four disc pack. Um, this is a great film. Um, definitely gets the love that it deserves. Um, I wish this was the final one, but. Toy Story 4 is a decent entry. Um, we got your Blu-ray feature film, your Blu-ray bonus feature, your DVD, and your digital copy, which used to be the same back then, where instead of actually, um, not actually, but instead of using a digital code and you get it, you have to put in the digital digital copy into like a, a computer like a Mac or a Dell or any computer and you gotta go on iTunes and type in the digital copy code um, but I like it now where you can just just type in the code um, so that's Toy Story Free a great movie from the Pixar library um, now, now, now we're going to make, I'm going to have some photos of Pixar Blu-rays. The first one is that video quality wise, I'm pretty sure most of these look great on Blu-ray. I tried some of them, like I actually put them in, um, and they actually look pretty good. Um, kind of better than Disney Plus quality, but again, it's a swinging service. 
but I feel like blue light quality is much better. Um, and then the second reason why Pixar Blu-rays are the best of any studio that comes out today is that they still have bonus discs, which you get a bunch of bonus features on. And that's always very nice with the artwork included. Um, so to what I what is on my checklist for Pixar Blu-rays now? Um, now, um, there is A Bug's Life, which I do have on DVD, but I do want to upgrade it. There's Monster Inc. Um, there's Finding Nemo. There's Incredible. I do have the blue way, but I do want to find the, any copy of the blue way that has the bonus features included. Um, Cars is one. Um, Latitude, Wally, um, Up, and Cars 2, which I'm gonna wait for that. Like, um, again, it's, it's the worst Pixar film, but I'm just gonna wait until. It's going to be the last one I'm going to be adding to the collection. Um, and then other ones are So Luca and then Turning Red. Um, so, um, and then the Pixar short film volumes. Um, and then Finding Nemo. So most of those are actually DVD Blu-ray upgrades. Um, DVD upgrades. So I hope you like my video. I know it's long, but um, please put a like to this video and just tell me um, if you don't mind to what is your favorite Pixar film and which which one is your least favorite um, down below. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day and a good night. Thank you and bye.